Morning, everybody. What's up? So, I'm down. I've cut all up there. I've cut all over there. Cut all around the brim. All I got left is up here. And uh, this is kind of a goofy little area right here. There's a real steep high wall there. Camera's not doing justice as usual. And it's just steep enough here that the, uh, we get a little bit of rain. And there's a bunch of washouts in here that the, um, the, the, whoa, brain fart, grapple skitter is going to skid around, you know, slip around in here. So what I'll do is I'll fetch them up with that. So got my camera holder pre-made. I'm going to set you all up and uh, do some real time cutting. And you guys can follow along if you'd like. I'm trying to get it to where you guys will be able to see everything. We're going to cut. Where's my finger? We're going to cut this hickory. Then there's a couple down in here. There's like one right there and another one over there. And I do have one off to the left over here. I might set up and knock down. It's a cherry. So The saw is running a little rough. It kind of feels like it might be on its way out. We'll see.
damn to pull a little slab off that hickory. What's that crap all about? And one's up on the hill over there. I'll pull them down off before I try topping them. I ain't doing nothing dumb like that. I got a couple more to cut over there. Okay, we're back. It's about, I don't know, three, two and a half, three hours since I started. Let's we'll say about three hours just to be safe. And I got everything from down there up. There's two laying in that brush pile that are covered up. No, there's one, two, three laying in there. Something's biting me. And then we um, got some nice reds there. One there, got cherry, that goofy thing there. And I got uh, a couple more laid over there. Got these stockpiled and I have another stockpile out there. And then all the cherries on the top cut out out here, all done. So all that's left on this side of the lake is just a little bit of stuff up in here. Some walnut and some burr oak and things. But uh, I lost the top roller on the dozer. I'm um, on the driver's side, I guess you would say. And uh, my battery's dying in my phone, so. If this is, um, I'll throw, I got some footage of when I first started this job. I'll throw that at the end of this video here. That way you can see as we pulled the skitter up in. No, we pulled the loader in up with that bigger apprentice skitter. Because I have the pump and this one turned down. For reasons I'll get into another day. But I uh, hope you all enjoy. I've been busy working on the house, so that's why I didn't, haven't had a chance to make a video and that's why I'll throw this other video. Oh, I got video of a big snake too. I'll throw that in there. Oh, he's going away. He's going away. Oh, shit. I can't get him. Can you see it? You see it now? Oh, that's a big one. He come out of that tree right there. Oh shit, so did that wasp. Well, holy shit, can you see that? That's got to be six, seven feet long. Whoa. I was going to cut this tree for firewood, but... Nope. Not now.
Funny. All right. Uh, so we got it to here. It's turned around. That's what I wanted. So if the ground turns to poop, she's pointed in the right direction. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up here to where that back outrigger is about right there. I never had to push him one time. He uh he got it all. No no issues. So I'm doing a horrible job of video. I'm trying not to get him in the video. I want to skitter. It's even having a little trouble holding it up. beast is placed I always get a little nervous when we do that um, guys do that all the time I don't typically do this all the time it's usually moved in with a truck uh, I don't know why I get nervous I just don't do it a lot but anyways I know it's a it's a turd in a rough but it's uh it's my turd I spent lots of time polishing it so I love this thing all right.